first tip, cut out the soda. Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time, no see, and that's because of school. I've had school, has been really stressful, but it's Christmas break, so hopefully I'll get a lot of videos filmed so I can have more content to give to you guys. And hopefully you miss me. I don't know, you probably hate me. Yeah, I'll be back, hopefully. I'm not making any promises, but I'm going to try really hard to work on my time management so I can get back to doing what I love, and that's making videos for you guys. So I just wanted to share some tips with you guys that helped me get rid of my acne and like some little tricks I did to like help her to help prevent my acne from coming back. So try some of the tips and hopefully they work for you. Let's get into the video. I don't drink sugary drinks and I call them devil juice because there's so much sugar in like sodas and sweet tea and stuff. I live in the south so we drink a lot of sweet tea. There's so much sugar in it and then when you drink it like it comes out and it shows on your skin and you get pimples everywhere. So if you would cut out sugary drinks like sodas and teas and anything that's not water, it will clear up your skin like so quick. Like within a week after I stopped drinking the sugary drinks, my skin cleared up so much more and I was really happy with it. This is hard to be a heartbreaker. Boys are like a little danger. Who am I kidding? <laughs> yeah, sugary drinks, cut them out. They're not good. It's gonna be hard at first, but then you're gonna do it for a week and you're like, I don't even need sugary drinks. That actually repulses me. And that's what's gonna happen and your skin's gonna clear up. Okay, second tip. This one drives my mother absolutely insane. Okay, what I do is I have like this weird thing where like I feel like if I sleep on the same pillowcase at night, like my face bacteria transfers onto my face every time I sleep. So I sleep on a towel. Like I take a towel, put it over my pillow, and I'll sleep. And then every night I'll get a new towel or I'll like flip the old towel over and I'll only use it for two nights. And so like at the end of the week, there's a bunch of towels that need to be washed. And that drives my mom insane, but it works for me and I wash the towels. I mean, she pays the bills, but it drives her insane. So you might not want to do that one, but it helps me because like the oil from your skin and like the oil from my hair, I just feel like it's on the pillow. So I, ca I can't sleep on the same pillow. It's like really weird. I don't even know if any of that made sense. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't even know if any of that made sense. Let's assume it did. Next tip. I wear makeup every day, like a foundation every day. So I use makeup brushes and a beauty blender. And every time before I use my beauty blender, I wash it with soap and hot water. With the brushes, I wash the brushes once a week. Cause like, oh, just, oh, the thought of bacteria going back on my face is really like, it makes me cringe. So I wash my brushes once a week and I wash my beauty blender every time before I use it. The next thing I do is like, I do it twice a week maybe and it's exfoliate. I make my own exfoliating scrub. I use honey, salt, and sugar and I mix it together in a paste. And after I get out of the shower, I'll rub it on my skin and I'll like let it sit for 10 minutes and then I'll like go to the bathroom, wet my hands and then scrub it all in. The honey in the mixture is antibacterial and salt and sugar, that's what exfoliates your skin. And with the exfoliating scrub, it makes your foundation apply really well, especially in the winter when you have dry skin. It like knocks off all the dry skin and makes your skin really smooth and soft. It's so warm in here. <gasps> Another important thing I do is you need to find, there's dust flying, I see it. Okay, but another thing is you need to find a good moisturizer that doesn't clog your pores, pores, your clothes, that doesn't clog your pores. I use coconut oil and then on top of the coconut oil, I use shea butter to like lock in all the moisture and the coconut oil is also good because it like helps with my acne scars. I got rid of the acne, but there's like scars all over my face that I'm really insecure about. But the coconut oil helps with the scars and makes your skin really smooth and really nice feeling. 
what else do I do? Another thing I stopped doing was at school, I would feel like my skin was really oily, so I would like touch my face to like blot it, to like keep away the oil. But do you know how many germs are on your fingers, especially when you're at school, like people don't wash their hands, they like lick their hands, like, and then like you touch desks and doors and pencils, so your hands have so much bacteria on them. So I stopped touching my face with my fingers and I don't let anybody else touch my face. Like that's a pet peeve when people touch my face because like their hands are disgusting. Like I know you don't wash them. It's just, it's so much bacteria and it's just ugh, going into your skin. So uh, keep your hands out of your face, especially during school because there's a lot of germs on your hands. And if you get oily, go to the bathroom and like get some toilet tissue or like a napkin and block the skin if you like want to be less oily or find a really good powder that'll keep you shine free throughout the day. So this last tip is going to take some work. You need to find a good facial cleanser or like a facial scrub that you can use every day and it's not rough on your skin. This took me about six months trying different facial cleansers to see what works for me. And the cleanser I settled on was Clean and Clear Black Head Eraser. I was trying other facial cleansers and they would have acid in them. So they would make, they would dry out my skin and they would kind of sting what, if I used it too much. And the little beads in it exfoliated my skin and I liked that it wasn't like, it didn't suds. It's not a sudsy one, it's like a cream. Now it's different for every person. I don't have blackheads, but I use the blackhead eraser. And if some people do that, they'll develop blackheads by using like a blackhead eraser. But you just have to figure out which face wash works for you. And yeah, stick with it and keep using it. Now I feel like everybody knows this, but do not sleep in your makeup. Like it's gross, there's bacteria on your pillowcase and then makeup is not meant to sit on your face for like 24 hours. Like I know you might be tired and you don't want to get in the shower or get makeup wipes or if you don't have makeup wipes, you'd use coconut oil or olive oil, just rub it all over your face and then use a washcloth and rub it all off and then wash your face with your cleanser. Just don't sleep in your makeup, whatever you do terrible habit I used to do it and it was terrible and made my acne so much worse and it was gross there was bacteria everywhere everywhere I say bacteria like you can see it but you really can't just I know it's there and just don't sleep with your makeup and that is all for my video oh I just spit <laughs> no but that is all for my video on how I cleared up my skin and got rid of my acne but the next challenge for me, my personal challenge, is now that I've gotten rid of the acne, I need to get rid of the acne scars that the acne has left behind. And that'll be another video once I get them clear. Thanks for watching.